from Be Well Health. And today's topic for the live stream is, actually I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Has anyone guessed? I did send out a, um, just a note on what I was going to talk about today and I wonder how many of you guessed what it is. What I said was um, the one health food or supplement that everyone seems to be using that has been linked to all sorts of funky diseases, diseases like leukemia, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, all sorts of can prostate cancer, you name it. Um, has anyone guessed yet what it is? Protein powder. Protein powder, protein shakes, and I know, you know what, thank goodness this is a live stream video and um, you guys are not with me in person, you might be throwing things at me. Um, I seem to always be such a killjoy and, it, and I probably surprise the heck out of you that I actually do have friends um, <laughs> with all of my bad news, but I do try to give bad news and then follow it up with good news. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to give you some great ideas at the end, but hear me out for a second. And here's the thing. If you, this, this may shock some of you, and if it does, I implore you, when you stop, when, you, when, when this video is over, um, see it through, please, and just hear me out. But when it's over, do the research yourself. Check it out. See if there is, um, see if what I'm saying makes sense to you. And just, you know, Google protein powders and Google some of the things that I'm talking about. So what is, um, and I have Andrea here in the kitchen with me and she's gonna, she's also gonna be watching in case you guys have any comments or questions. But, um, so protein powders have been around since the 1950s and they came about because, um, well, you can probably guess bodybuilders were looking for ways to actually increase their percentage of muscle. So they discovered that using, um, processed stuff like protein powder would actually help. Since the 50s, you know, over the next, like, you know, next 10, 20, 30 years, it became an increase in popularity. And now it is just, it's, it's, it's crazy what is going on with the protein powder industry. Every single company out there makes protein powder, um, low sugar protein powder, uh, whey protein powder, vegan protein powder, natural protein powder, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. It's insane what's going on with protein powder. And I'm here to tell you, and like I said, please, don't take my word for it. Research, you know, just take, take 30 minutes at the end of this video and research it yourself. Protein powders, and I've, I've actually, I've, for the last, oh, I don't know, maybe like even I can remember as early as like 10 years ago, sitting with people who had, who actually did, um, were diagnosed with cancer. And these people, the reason why this struck me, and I want to tell you about it, these people that I sat with, um, where I've, first had to, you know, where I really started to research protein powder and what was in it, they were health nuts. They really were health nuts. It, in fact, they were vegans. Um, everything they were doing was right. And so it was so hard for me to, you know, really get to the bottom of it. Thank goodness we did. But what the one thing that was consistent was they were doing protein powder. Now, just some things about protein powder that you may not be aware of. One of the biggest things is heavy metals. Um, the amount of heavy metals, the amount of lead and mercury in these protein powders is insane. That those toxic levels are act, have, have actually been linked to all sorts of cancers. And it's funny because the, the different things in the protein powders are linked to different types of cancers. So I'm just going to briefly, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to bog you down with all this information because I really would love it if you, if you just check this out for yourself, but heavy metals, it's insane how, how, and the amounts that are in there. Um, most of these protein powders, because so many people are craving things that are low in sugar and, and, um, you know, they're concerned about calories. So a lot of people will use, um, low sugar aspartame, the, the aspartame alone in these protein powders has been linked to leukemia. Um, the amount, you know, some, some people are actually, some people are using soy. Did you, did you, I, I, I'm shocked at some of the things, you know, every time I research something, I find out even more about it. But did you know that the soy protein powders have been linked to low sperm count in men? I mean, it, it's crazy. So just, you know, and it's not just, I'm always saying to people, you know, take, take whatever you're using and read the ingredients. But honestly, like it's even more than reading the ingredient. You, First of all, we don't need protein powder. I should have, I should have started this video off with that. 
we do not need protein powder. It's just a huge money maker. It's marketing. It is, um, most people need between 30 and 40 grams of protein. Obviously pregnant women need more. Um, I do a lot of, I do a lot of seminars at hospitals and you, you know, a lot of, a lot of the people that are in the audience of these seminars are nurses and physicians. And I say to them quite bluntly, how often do you see somebody walk into the hospital with a protein deficiency and yet kidney stones? Do you know it, when you, if you just take a, a, a few minutes and research protein powders, you know what you're going to find? You're going to find story after story after story of bodybuilders actually dying in their 30s and 40s from organ failure. What the protein, what excessive um, protein does to the organs is, is astonishing. So bodybuilders dying of organ failure, um, the excessive amounts of protein. I mean, it does crazy things to the body. Stop using it. <laughs> that's all. That's what I have to say. Stop using protein powder. Uh, you don't need it. Bodybuilders don't need it. You don't need it to increase your muscle. If you want to increase your muscle strength workouts, you know, doing, doing the right kind of exercise and eating, yes, eating good quality protein, things like you know, believe it or not, and here's what's crazy. When I, when I, every time I do research for things like this, I'll find um, hemp protein powder, um, uh, rice protein powder. Guess what? Buy yourself, you'll save money um, and you'll be saving your health, but buy yourself some hemp seeds. I think I picked, yeah, I picked these up at Trader Joe's for, I don't know, I think there were like five or six dollars for this bag. Did you know that a tablespoon of hemp seeds is five grams of protein? So if you put four tablespoons of these suckers into your smoothie, um, you're gonna get 20 grams of protein just from four tablespoons of the hemp seeds, and you're not getting it, and, and at least you know what you're eating. You're not getting any other, you're not getting heavy metals, you're not getting um, aspartame, you're not getting, uh, it's just, you're not getting garbage. <laughs> You can tell I'm beginning to get a little impassioned, but I get I get so serious about it. Oh, and, and the other fun thing, quin, you know, quinoa and brown rice. Did you know that quinoa actually has eight grams of protein per cup? So take dry quinoa, throw it into your smoothie. Eat, make sure you eat a cup of quinoa every single day, a couple cups of quinoa. Like, I implore you, don't take what I'm saying for granted. When you, when you stop watching this video, do your own research, check the protein powder that you have at your house. It probably, if it's low sugar, it probably contains aspartame. Um, and then you will not be able to tell. Here's the thing that will not be on the ingredients. You won't be able to tell about the heavy metals. Um, and quite frankly, what, what is the deal? I don't get it. I, it. The only thing that I can figure out is it, it's got to be some kind of a great money maker because who, who, who decided we needed so much protein in our life? Not any healthy person, not, not, not a health person. So um, this is kind of a serious topic with me, as you can tell. I so appreciate you tuning in and, um, and watching this video. And I got a couple requests for diabetes. I think I'll talk on diabetes next week, but thank you so much for, for tuning in and God bless you guys.